In this example, we're asked to first show that the set of all two by two symmetric matrices is a subset, or sorry, subspace of the vector space containing all, all just all two by two matrices, um, which we've seen in the past, it does constitute a vector space, that M two by two. So to do this, I would first wanna uh, explore a little bit uh, just what these matrices in W are, since we haven't, uh, or since you may not have studied symmetric matrices at this point. Uh, so any, any matrix in W is gonna have this form. Uh, so a symmetric matrix, you can have anything along the main diagonal. So I'm gonna put an A and a D in their usual positions. Uh, the thing that's special about symmetric matrices is that uh, the corresponding entries across the main diagonal are equal, or you have a mirror image uh, across the main diagonal. So the important thing uh, for this matrix to be symmetric is that these entries match across the main diagonal. Uh, so we could describe W here another way, as opposed to what I've written in words there. It's a set of all matrices of this form, where A, B, and D are just any real numbers. Oops, so they're elements of the set of all real numbers. Okay, so this is what W really looks like. Now, our, our first task was to show that this is a subspace of the set of all two by two matrices. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, one way might be the more uh, traditional route, which is to show that this subset of a vector space satisfies uh, three conditions. First, that the zero vector is contained in the subset. And so to do that, uh, well, we'd wanna show that the, the, the zero vector in this case would be the two by two matrix whose entries are all zero. And that definitely fits the form uh, needed to belong to W. It's got, uh, its entries are, are mirror images across the main diagonal there. So that would be an element of W. Uh, the next two conditions are closure, under addition, and scalar multiplication. So uh, let's take addition first. If you take some symmetric two by two matrix, so I'll use that same general matrix that I wrote up above and add it to some other symmetric two by two matrix. Uh, so I'll use E, F. This entry down here would have to match, so that needs to also be F. This entry could be any number, so I'll put G here. So I've got two uh, symmetric two by two matrices. If I add those together, then I'd have A plus E here uh, B plus F here, B plus F again down here, just adding the corresponding entries, and D plus G right here. But so this is a, still a, a symmetric two by two matrix. These entries match, doesn't matter what we have along the main diagonal there. Uh, so we've shown here that this thing is closed under addition. W is closed under addition. Okay, and so the last thing to show is that W is closed under scalar multiplication. So if we take just any number S times some matrix that belongs to W. So it has this form here. And perform that scalar multiplication. S times A, S times B, S times B, S times D. Uh, we do still have a symmetric two by two matrix. So W is closed under scalar multiplication. Now there is a second way to do this. So we went through uh, one method 
of proving that W is a subspace of uh, M two by two. There is uh, a second way to, sh to prove this. And uh, the trick here is to recall uh, that there was a theorem that said that uh, the span of any collection of vectors, oops, span, of any collection of vectors in a vector space, however many vectors we want here, will always be a subspace. So there's a theorem that says this. And I'm paraphrasing here. Will always be a subspace of the vector space V. If we take the span of some uh, vectors that belong to a vector space V, then that will always constitute a subspace of V. And uh, we actually proved that theorem a few sections back. Uh, so if you consider, again, the form of the uh, matrices in W, they all have this form. We could um, write that as A times this matrix, which is symmetric since these entries match plus B times this matrix, which again is symmetric because these entries match, plus D times this matrix, 0, 0, 0, 1, which again is symmetric. Uh, so now we're describing W as the span the span of these matrices. Uh, this should be a zero. There's that first matrix. Here's that second matrix that we multiply by B that gives us those uh, matching entries uh, in, in those positions across the diagonal. And then just any entry in that D position. So that's where, why we include this matrix. And so this here would also, this, this would prove that W is a subspace of the set of all 2 by 2 matrices. matrices. And that method is a lot quicker, so it's nice to recall that theorem.